When I say bananas, you say peppers. And uh, I have a very scary story to tell you guys today. It's called wind. I'm always talking about weather. I'm like your 500 year old aunt. That's just like, oh, the weather. But literally over the past two days, we've had like a 30 to 40 degree sudden drop. Like it was like 80, now it's like 30. It's not feeling so good. Um, And so like the last two nights have been so spooky because like the doors rattling, the wind howling, noises coming from above, from side to side. Also, my imagination is on overdrive because suddenly I just jumped right back into watching all the paranormal shows. Like Haunted on Netflix. I have some mixed thoughts and feelings about that show, but still it's just kind of like, you know when you just immerse yourself in like one genre and all you watch all day and all night is like freaking tr true ghost stories. This is just a freaking tea vlog now. There's a new version of celebrity celebrity ghost stories, I think on the travel channel and it's called like Famously Afraid or something. It's a very good show, but do, do, do you see the wind plus my imagination equals dangerous combustion. So I thought I would cleanse my mind with doing a K-beauty haul with you guys. And this is actually from a pretty magical local store in Houston called Shibuyala. I'm not saying that right. Um, and I do believe that they have K-beauty and J-beauty. They're in Tokyo, LA, Las Vegas, and Houston. How we lucked out to get in this mix, I don't know, because like nothing ever comes to Houston, okay? If anything cool ever comes to Texas, it goes to Dallas and then stops. Why? I don't know. I've got two bags, so let's just dive in. Also, I'm already in my jam jams, so there's that. All right, very first thing I got is this amazing skincare thing. Now I'm gonna be honest, some of this stuff I bought just off of the enticement of the photos. They're like, use this super slimy. It's like a little finger, you put your in there and ah, rub your face. Um, but they literally are like, it's like a sponge that I think removes 20 years off of your face skin. So by the time I use this product, I should look literally like a newborn baby. I'm very excited. I think it just like removes dead skin and old age off of your face with tiny circular motions. Up next, I have this product, which sort of like inspires my look today. And I wanna do a first impression Friday. I don't know if it's gonna go on this channel or my main channel. We'll just see how I feel that particular day. But it is an ear cleaner. And earlier this year on this channel, we tried an ear piercing cleaner thing and this I also want to try this ear cleaner. Let's find out together. All right, up next, very adorably. So you guys know I'm, I'm definitely giving this to my mom. She loves Gudetama, but it is just like a facial setting powder. I think it like minimizes the appearance of pores and all of that cool kind of stuff. And they have lots of different Sanrio characters. I think the only difference is the character sponge applicator that you get. So this one, is Gudetama. Up next is this thing. What is it you might ask? Well, it's technically for your feet. It's like one of those mats that you squirt soap on. Let me just take it out of the packaging. Get out, get out. Here we are. So it has a million suction cups on the bottom. You're supposed to just right in your shower and it's got these long squiggly boogalies on it and you just like squirt soap into it and like like back and forth with the feet phalange and it creates like a luxurious foamy experience i'm sure i've never tried it also i thought why freaking not i could also like clean makeup brushes with this but i feel like i have to pick one thing or another because you can't wash your feet and then your makeup brushes. That would be sick. Very quickly, what should its destiny be? <gasps> I think it's telling me feet. Next, I have two different little face masks in here. One is a Hello Kitty face mask. I don't know what this word means. 
I guess it's saying ninja, I don't know. I do not know what the benefit of this is, but it's Hello Kitty, so it's gotta be something good. And then this is a Frankenstein face mask. I think I tried one of these like a million years ago, and I think that they're just like overall moisturizing. I think I read like rose oil as one of the ingredients. Up next is this other thing that I'm dying to try. See, I'm like, this is a video, this is a video. Suddenly I'm just exploding with things I wanna try in a video, but um, it's like something for your nose. It's gonna make your nose better. It's gonna take the dead skin off of your nose. Seriously, I have some sort of nose problem and I don't know what it is. Like my foundation will sit beautifully on my face, every other part of my face, except for like the down, front area of my nose. Why is that? I think that I have some gross skin there, so I'm just gonna try and remove it. I also got these beautifully dainty, I don't know, Mish Blumen, I guess that that is the brand, but I love K Beauty and J Beauty lashes. Especially if you're going for like a very natural, neutral look, then they make like the lightest, wispiest, beautiful accent lashes. So this is um, number two, Pure Nude, which sounds kind of scandalous, but it's not, it's just eyelashes. It's okay. All right, up next, what else do I have in this thing? Oh yes, um, this is like specifically, I think I threw the box away. I just like <laughs> ripped ripped it open. What, what was that sound effect? Um, I literally went back to this store to get this product. So this is called Layered Fragrance Body Spray and the scent is Olive Vodka. And I am just gonna be honest, I don't like drinking. I don't ever like drinking, I don't like the way it tastes and I don't like the way that it makes me feel just anytime I've ever drank anything in my life. But I have always loved the smell. Like, um, oh my God, what is that brand? I keep wanting to say Pure Moods, but um, you see it at Ulta a lot. They've got like peppermint and like margarita. Anyway, long story short, I always love like liquor smelling things. If it's margarita, whiskey, vodka, whatever, love the way it smells. Hate everything else about it. So this, I can't describe it to you in any other way than it's olives and vodka. And I drove 30 miles to retrieve this item and then ended up buying all this also, so it is definitely worth it. Also, I swear next time I go to this store, I'm gonna film a little clip of what it looks like on the inside. Like literally, if you were anywhere in the greater Houston area, I cannot try and convince you to go here enough. Like the store is just decorated so amazingly. They actually have a real Japanese vending machine and even the doors, the doors of the establishment look like a vending machine. There's bottles in the door. All right, the next thing that I have here is an in-bath peeling gel. So it's kind of the same thing as I was like very poorly describing that this um, nose product does, but you just apply this kind of gel and it will slowly slough off your dead skin, but it does it in a gentle way. Cause I have like super, I almost said I have super dead skin very accurate, but I have super sensitive skin and I feel like these products are like a gentle yet effective exfoliant. So 10 out of 10, do recommend. So the next thing that I have in here, I am pretty excited to try because I think it is a, it's got like a sponge tip applicator. I think it is a powder pin to fill in your brows. I think this is gonna be a really good shade for me. It is walnut brown, but basically it's a four in one. So I think it has like a traditional eyebrow pencil, like a powder and a spoolie brush. I don't know what the middle section would be, but they say there's four. So just, there's gotta be four in here, right? Up next is a beautiful eyeliner. I think the brand is Automatic Beauty and you guys know I have been on a super orange kick lately and I don't see a shade name in here. It's like ABMPO2. Good luck finding that one at home, but it is just a very beautiful, like literally pumpkin-y orange eyeliner. It's like three in the morning and I should go to sleep because I literally almost just called this a hand sanitizer. No, that is not what this is. And the last thing from that bag is a love liner eyeliner. And I am actually gonna swatch this for you guys because the shade is called pink brown. Like. 
What does that mean? All right, so beautiful pink metallic packaging. Ooh la la. So the, the pin part definitely looks pink, but let's see if we can find out. No, it's definitely pink. It's a pink brown, it's pink. It's a very lovely shade of pink. Oh God, is it pink brown? My mind is melting. So literally when I first just swatched it and it like first came out on my hand, it looked like a very baby ballet pink. But then as it sort of like immediately the air mixed with the air and oxidized like instantly, I can kind of see the brown. What is happening? <laughs> on to the next bag. So right in here, I am seeing a couple of things that are so so adorable. Like this Shibu Inu. Is that really what this dog is called? Shiba, Shiba Inu? I always call it Shibu Inu. That's not right. But it is a hot and cool neck pillow. And just look at his little face. You can put it in the fridge or in the microwave and I am looking forward to using this baby tonight. This is gonna be an experience. So that's his skin. Say hello to his skin. And then this heavy thing down here is actually like, I call these things beans. I don't think it's really, is it really beans? Is there beans in here? So yeah, it feels like beans, but you can put it in the fridge or the microwave. And oh, it just feels so relaxing. So um, along the same lines, I have another little critter in here, except for it's an eye pillow. And this one looks like a little polar bear, but um, the insert even looks the same. I think it's just like a smaller size. Oh my God, this one has feet. I wasn't even gonna like take this one out yet, but it has feet, so now I have to show it to you. Oh, and it says happy. <gasps> oh my God, and it's got an official, this thing, it's very official. Moving along, um, the very next thing in this bag is Super Mario face makeup remover wipes. So I have another one of these containers that I got a long time ago from my other favorite K-Beauty website called Yes Style, and it was a Dor Doraemon container, and I love these. They're so cute. I mean, I feel like it's like a much cuter like storage container for your makeup wipes. And the makeup remover wipes in here are also like very good quality. I don't really see an official brand. Like this literally just says Nintendo, but I don't think Nintendo is making face wipes, but maybe they are. Up next, let me know if this is like an official anime character or something that I should know. But I literally just got this face mask because it freaking reminds me of the man in the iron mask, which is literally like one of my favorite guilty pleasure movies. I also got Bye Bye Pimple Patch. So like if you have a blemish on your face, these are like little um, invisible sticker patches that you can just slap on your skin and just get a treatment all day, look better by the end of the day. Also got special nose powder. So it's by the same brand as this but I think it is supposed, I think that this is literally a product for people that have my problem where like your nose just never looks smooth. So um, it, it also has UV in it. I also got, this is so weird you guys, it is Rose mouthwash. And I think they had like a whole box of these so you could get like 10 or 12 or whatever but it just it looked so weird i only wanted to try just one at a time it's supposed to be like the zero burn kind um i also got this you guys oh my god i feel like i saw this on instagram like a million months ago and i never thought i'd be able to find it here in the states uh but it is by rohoto rohoto mm. it's like a brand that you can buy everywhere but like I just feel like American products get so boring. It's like they never come out with special editions or anything magical or different. You gotta go to Japan for that. But it is Sailor Moon. Lichi, I always mispronounce that. I guess it's lychee, I always say lychee, but they are eye drops. Fancy Sailor Moon eye drops. Look at that. How cute is that? How precious is that? All right, up next we have this, which, oh my God, look, it's Doraemon. I got some Doraemon gum because it's supposed to taste like Ramune, which is like one of my all time favorite flavors. Ooh, I can even smell it. 
smells good. Uh, and I got Doraemon lip balm because obviously I always need the lip balm and I just want my products to look cute. I don't just want them to be functional. I also want them to make me happy when I look at them. So I think that this is just a moisturizing. Oh my God, it smells minty. Surprising, but welcomed. It's just like a regular chapstick, except for a lot cuter. I don't know why it also has Hello Kitty on it. I don't know what the Hello Kitty portion of this product is, but hey, if Hello Kitty wants to be there, who am I to stop her? So we have one last product in here, you guys. It is another eyeliner and it is grayish brown. My God, yes, I thought it was just gray, but ugh, like whole brand new feels in my heart for the word grayish. I feel like that's one of my favorite colors ever. So this is Love Liner Liquid, but look at this color. Isn't that like so unique? I feel like both of these shades are like such unique shades for an eyeliner. And I'm so excited. Uh, anyway, you guys, I think I'm gonna take off my humongous ears and put my little eye pillow on and go get a nap. It's been kind of a long day. I've been editing a lot lately and I hope you guys don't mind. I have literally just been like, genuinely so excited and happy and ready to film every single day lately and I hope I'm not like bombarding you guys with too many videos but I feel like it's been so much fun to just like come here so frequently lately and I don't know about you guys but like literally I have favorite channels that I'm either a so happy that they upload every single day because it's just like my nice little thing to watch and unwind or I have channels that are my favorites that I wish that they would upload like more than once a week but like I don't know like oh my god like Q Star I he uploads like every single day and it's like these crazy <laughs> reddit videos but it's just like I don't know it's so nice because it's like I feel like it's something that I can like count on watching every single day do you know what I mean anyway hopefully it's not content overload but I will see you guys again very, very soon. Until I do, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye. What if I ended it like, like that? Like what if I was one of those? What if I was one of those vloggers, huh? I kind of like that, if I'm being honest. Bye.